I thought about it a different way that we do this in terms of a community driven effort. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a problem. Um, so DD, as Claire mentioned, said that um, we were talking about multi-select option sets. So one of the most requested feature in Dynamics, and as soon as it was released, everyone went, but I can't set these with workflows. And we're like, that's no good to 90% of people um, that really wanted these for those sorts of things. And it's really hard for like things like reporting and everything else. So DD was like, can you set a multi-select option set using Flow? And I thought, um, sure, I'm sure that's, that's something that we can do. But I didn't know anything about it. And that's where this comes in. So tonight's session is going to be us going through how to like looking at what a multi-select option set is, how to set it, how to get data from it. And I don't know the answer to the to this question. So I, I know what a multi-select option set is. I know it is in the background, but I don't know how exactly to set it. So it's going to be a little troubleshooting, a little bit of trial and error. And if you have the answers, or if you know what I'm doing wrong or you know where we should be looking, do shout out. Um, either in the chat and Claire can chat out at me or just unmute yourself and we'll just have a chat. So without further further ado, um, let's share my desktop. And I'll show you what we've started with. Uh, right. Uh, can we all see this solution that says flow test? Yes. Yeah. Cool. So I've created a multi-select option set called Superhero Affiliations uh, because that's cool. Um, and <laughs> I realized that all the data in my, uh, in my environment is all uh, comic book heroes um, because I can't remember things. So I just want the comic book hero name. So we've got like, Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson and Hal Jordan. And you know, there's some Star Wars in here and there and that. But uh, what we've got is we've got superhero affiliations. So who are these people affiliated with? Who is their team? Who are they on? Um, so we've got this one, Dick Grayson, that currently has no uh, no superior affiliations. So what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll add a couple of affiliations. We'll add them into Teen Titans and Young Justice and maybe Justice League as well. And we'll hit save. So now Dick Grayson has these affiliations. So we have three options in a multi select option set. So what we'll do now is we'll flick, a, flick over to Flow and we will build a Flow. So hour later. Oh, it. It's, oh, it's oh. gone down it. Oh, let's go back to Dick Grayson. Is he now members of the Birds of Prey? He sells. Yay! Nice. So we got there in the end. Um, so to recap, we know it's possible to do this. We know it's possible to have a dynamic input we go off and we query the string map base, which is where all the option set values are, uh, are, are contained. We know that filter query does not like object code name, uh, but <laughs> yeah. checksml does not care, because that actually goes via the API and does an API call um, instead of using this OData call. So I guess it just likes it better. Uh, and then we can switch it based on the output and update stuff. So. I think that's I think that's a, a job well done, people.